uh, which will be brilliant. Uh, he's an undergraduate student uh, of uh, cybernetic and robotics in the Czech uh, Technical University in Prague. Uh, he's a summer trainee at the engineering department of the Vision uh, Space Technology. Uh, he will presenting. He will be presenting a, an open source uh, onboard computer platform for CubeSats. And um, well, it's a newly developed family of uh, robust and redundant PC 104 uh, format. Uh, OBC modules and uh, flat set. Oh. Let's check it out. Hi, Philippe. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining my presentation. <clears throat> my name is Philip, and today I would like to show you an VST 104 project. Awesome. I was working on this project during the summer of 2020 at the Vision Space Technologies company. I was under supervision of Jose Faiterinha, that you may already know from the previous talks. And I was in touch with my professor from Czech Technical University, who is my specialty supervisor. He is uh, Dr. Wojciech Petrucha. Uh, in this project, we aimed our focus on developing uh, hardware boards dedicated for PC-104 format. Uh, we developed a uh, few onboard computer boards and also some testing and auxiliary boards. Uh, we'll we can imagine the usage of these projects in the future in mission control system testing and some development of uh, FPGA algorithms. Throughout the project, we also try to contribute to the LibreCube initiative and also to support a local university club, Tutsat, in uh, the town of Darmstadt. Um, at the beginning, I would like to introduce you the VST family boards. We divided the family board into two main parts. The main goal of uh, boards and auxiliary boards. In the main goal, you can see board zero, Sierra, and Delta. Uh, board zero is just universal development board. It's kind of soldering array. It's nothing special. Uh, the next board is Sierra, which is a single redundant onboard computer. So you have a module with only one onboard computer. That's all. But in module Delta, you have two onboard computers, one of each side of the module. So you can independently switch between the modules. Uh, Element Foxtrot is actually a flat SAT adapter that is capable of hosting up to four uh, modules uh, with its own power module. So you can power it from something different and you don't need to use power module. And then there was a board whiskey, which should be a radio adapter that wanna try to change it for a Wi-Fi module. But unfortunately, we place this project on hold for now. Uh, I would like to introduce you some features of the onboard computers. You can see here there is a board Sierra and Delta. Uh, they share the same specifications. They are rated for actual flight because we are using components that are matching the military rated temperatures from minus 40 up to plus 125 degrees Celsius. And also all of the components uh, are automotive qualified. So we match these two strong requirements for the flight mission. Uh, unfortunately, we are not working with radiational hardened components because of terms of costs, but we try to implement uh, this radiational hardened in, uh, in kind of layout. Uh, Delta uh, has double redundant onboard computers, that means you can switch in between of them. And also we are using memories in triple redundant configurations uh, to deal with single large events. Uh, as you may notice, we try to shrink all the components to the smallest layout possible. And in this way, we are trying to maximize the payload sector. The payload sector is represented with this, uh, this grid. Uh, the user can change it and place their own payload there. It's just kind of representation that nothing is actually placed there. Uh, here you can see some OBC specification. This is the main header. You can see that we are using almost the, the whole PC-104 header. We have plenty of interfaces, such as scan bus, UART, SPR, I2S2. Uh, we are using 22 general pur purpose user pins that you can modify. You can read analog, digital signals, anything you want. We also support some signal checking and maintenance signals, such as CPU mode or synchronization or fault collector. So we have plenty of means how to communicate with the OMBC and the rest of the satellites. 
Here are some specification of the board Sierra. Uh, it's shared with the board Delta because they are the same OBC actually. We are using a uh, high performance STM32 uh, microcontroller. It should be the best in the family of these controllers. And we are capable of running up to 78 megahertz. We have two sources of external clocks, uh, low speed and high speed, 32 kilohertz and 26 megahertz. We have external flash uh, and FRAM, as I said before. Uh, in the triple redundant configuration uh, with plenty of peripherals and you are capable of debugging and programming the board using this small connector on the side. Uh, it's for SVI and UART programming and debugging. The board is full of interesting features, which I will be talking in the, in the next slides. Uh, this is just for imagination. This is the schematics of the, of the board, of the one on board, on board computer. Here are some pictures of the kicket. We are using six layers, PCBs three layers for signals, two layers as the ground plates, and while one layer for power delivery. And here are the interesting features dimensions. Uh, this is the picture of the board Sierra from the top, from the bottom. This hole is the one hole, yeah? So you can align it in your, in your brains. So this is the same board from two sides. Uh, in the middle is the huge MCU. Uh, quite interesting part is this, this top area because it's plenty of small isolators you can isolate your MCU from the main PC-100 from header, and you can do it by simply uh, selecting which peripheral you want to isolate. So, for example, you can isolate only CAN bus or only UART on anything. You don't need to isolate everything. You can, you can choose. We have a bunch of temperature sensors on board. They are marked with a green square. They are split, spread all around under the most important parts. You can notice the triple redundant memories. Here are some CAN bus drivers. Uh, this is the connector. It has the own ESD protection, so you can touch it without any damage. It, it's protected. And the last but not least the important thing is the power management. We have quite, kind of robust power management. Our board expects 3.3 and 5 volts as an input, and we are checking the line separately for over voltage, under voltage, uh, with protection in over current. Uh, over current. We, there are also integrated amplifiers that you can monitor the consumed current uh, easily. Uh, if there is some fault on the free, for example, on one line, let's say 3.3, it also automatically shuts down the 5 volt. So there are only two states, everything powered up or anything, it's, anything is running. And all these features should, should protect the board and make it safe to use in, in a space environment. Uh, I was doing the soldering by my hands. All the components are quite small. Uh, it was a bit tricky. You can see this is one euro cent coin, so you can imagine how the resistor are actually small. Um, I just want to show you that you are actually able to, to assemble this board uh, by hand. You don't need just some some instruments like microscope and uh, hot air, but it's not so 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 special. And now let's move to board delta. As I said before, uh, it's an implementation of board Sierra in double redundant mode. You can see one Sierra is located here as a left onboard computer, and here is a mirror image of the one Sierra. So here is one onboard computer, here's the second one. They share the same layout, only with minor changes in tracing. That means you can use almost the same code for both of them, and also they share almost the same electric characteristics. Um, and this, you can see there is a huge, huge payload area, and also the space under the VST logo is empty, so you can implement your own switching logic there, the logic that will be switching between the two computers. And the last board I would like to talk about is the Element Foxtrot. It's actually a flat side board. Uh, you can, uh, it's capable of hosting uh, up to four modules, so you can play four modules on it. It has its own power management, so you can power the modules from something different. You don't need to use a PCDU, so it's good for early stage of development, also for debugging, and maybe also from, for some presentations or some show off of your projects in the future. Uh, this board also contains some nice features. You can power it from USB-C or external power adapter. You can choose between them in the, you know, through the switch. You can break uh, the module if you don't want to use it through this breakable line. You can power it from your laboratory power supply using this banana jigs, or you can simply remove the temporary jumpers that are capable of hosting up to six amps. So it should be quite easy to operate in different ways. Uh, the board is full of fuses, so, it's, so it should be quite safe to operate. Uh, we have integrated current sensing resistor. You could, they are quite easy to probe. You can adjust the voltages using these streamers. 
Uh, there is also USB-C handshaking, handshaking integrated on the board, so you can connect USB-C smart uh, charger from your laptop or smartphone, and the board should, should be aimed to negotiate the required voltage and current level with it. Uh, we have also over voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, uh, so the input from external check should be really safe. And if you want to use also the data from your USB-C, uh, we have our own 5 volt USB data voltage conversion, and you can use this pinout to, for example, uh, communicate from other modules with your charger, if you're charging from laptop or something else. Um, our future work contains small, small tasks and some bigger tasks. I try to assume it in these three points. Uh, we would like to assemble and test more boards of the Delta. Uh, I hope we can manage it uh, in the beginning of the next year. Uh, we would like to also add an external real-time clock to the board Sierra with independent power source, for example, some super capacitor or, or small battery. And the last thing to, to work on is uh, kind of redesigning the temperature monitoring for the board Delta, because right now it's running uh, on the configuration that one onboard computer can measure the temperature of the other one but not vice versa. So we would like to be able to, to measure the voltages in between the, the onboard computers. That's kind of a change. And yeah, so thank you very much for, for the interest in this presentation. Please free to check our GitHub. Uh, everything is open source. And we'll be very, very pleased if you decide to contribute to this project. In that case, please contact Jose. Uh, you could use this, this email. So thank you very much once again. Awesome. Um, Thank you. I'm sure uh, there are questions. I hope there are questions. I do have questions, actually. Um, so, checking in uh, tunnels. Uh, I would actually, I was thinking, uh, first and foremost, uh, as far as I understand, um, all your hardware is under uh, open source hardware license, isn't that right? Uh, certain uh, open source hardware license. Oh, uh, right? everything is open source, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, secondly, um, so how come you decided on uh, this on this particular thing? Uh, what was the? Oh yeah. At the beginning of the project, we were this, you know, considering multiple pinouts that we were able to find on the web, but unfortunately, there's nothing really synchronized. Everyone is using kind of their own pinout, so we try to squeeze the, the, the most we can together. And we are open to for the negotiations in the future. If this community decides to create one common pinout, we will be happy to implement it. OK, uh, so first, uh... Milenko in the chat says that uh, it's a uh, certain open hardware license version two stronger is uh, reciprocal. That's awesome. Congrats. Uh, Manfred uh, asks, uh, is it radiation is radiation resistance a concern? Oh, it's concerned not through the hardware parts, but it's concerned for the design. For example, the triple redundant memories and double redundant onboard computer. We may actually proceed with some radiational testing in the future uh, through my university in Prague, but it's, it's it's just an option. We are not sure about it right now, mm -hmm. but we are thinking about it. Any other testing? Yeah, we are we are capable of running a simple software on the board. All the elements should be working properly, and Again, I would like to do more testing because I'm working on it as well, my bachelor thesis, so I need to do some measurements. But un unfortunately, right now, my university is closed because of the COVID. Um, so yeah, that's the problem right now. Oh, no, 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 I understand. That, that's really understandable. Um, usually, that can be an issue uh, when you're uh, in a pandemic. Um, um, are there any available uh, documentation? I haven't checked it out, to be honest. Yeah, uh, there is some documentation on the GitHub, uh, but I am working on my virtual thesis, as I mentioned, and this thesis should should be the best documentation for this project. 
Awesome. So when uh, you will be finishing your thesis, uh, we will be able to have uh, more stuff to read and uh, take a deep dive on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really deep. Yeah, awesome. hopefully. Great. Um, there is a question uh, in, the, yes. in the chat, uh, uh, Lefteri. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see which chat is that. Oh, uh, it's question answers. Here on top here is uh, Manfred asking if, if is a radiation uh, resistant a uh, concern? Yeah, as a uh, minute ago, uh, there uh, there's a question on the testing. Uh, uh, testing in the future, and uh, that would be covered. Uh, also, it was uh, part of uh, the. Are there sensing re resistors part of a LATSAP uh, current protection unit or something? Uh, I'm not sure if, if you mean these resistors on the flat set, because mm, there is nothing. Maybe kind of protection, it, this sense, these resistors are just for measuring. So you already know the, their value and you can probe the voltage drop uh, through these, these points. How come uh, you ended up on a uh, six layer uh, PCB? Uh, We're using only six layers for the onboard computers because we try to make the project as reachable as possible, also kind of low cost. And six layers is the last level of layers that you can actually uh, order from some manufacturer for a reasonable amount of, of money. So that, yeah. that's, that's the reason. Uh -huh. So in order to have that uh, replicable and uh, be truly open source, meaning that uh, it's also um, people will be able to uh, get one of these boards uh, without uh, paying a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I think the prices for one board here should be between 100 and 108 euros to order assemble. So it should not be that bad for an onboard computer for a CubeSat. Constantinos asks, uh, why is the second OBC in the Delta module flipped upside down? Yeah, uh, as you may notice from the picture from these pictures it was super hard to actually this this is one one part of the onboard computer is the left one and it was super super hard to place the components and to wire them properly and mm -hmm. it, it it i would need to spend one more month to to lay out the other onboard computer to the other side so i just flip it uh, place it there and then change only these traces on the top so yeah. it was the approach of the minimal minimal loss of time yeah, that, that can be a good way to do stuff. Uh, awesome. Another question for me. You said about the price of uh, board populated. Have you ever tried to use a... Uh, this is not about the project, but have you ever tried to use uh, a service that uh, uh, populate PCBs? Like to buy the PCB populated? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. We ordered the PCBs from China, from some manufacturer, in quantity of, I mean, 20 of them. For yeah, team. but you, you ordered the PCBs, the ports only, not populated with components. So this, this the ah. price you said is uh, yeah. for only for yeah. the PCB, not, not for the components. Uh, we are using uh, some specific components, the specific devices, because they're all rated for the automotive, also temperature. So usually you need to pay a lot of money for the assemble house to actually put the wheels into their machines. So I think that's not yeah. really the way how to do it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, um, yeah. I was asking because it's 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 and inside the uh, info. Awesome. Uh, Jan Maas, if I'm pronouncing correctly, uh, asks, have you planned to subject uh, VST 104 to an uh, environment test? Yeah, um, I plan it uh, together with the other testing at my uni, university. Uh, but for the, for the COVID, it's quite hard to say. I think I need to do them because of my virtual thesis. So hopefully we'll be able to work on them. Hi. Hi, I'm Jose. Hey, Jose. 
Okay. Uh, just wanted to say that, uh, I mean, we will at some point uh, at least check out the prices to order it assembled. Um, also, uh, we might even consider, I mean, one of the things that we've been thinking about is trying to do a mini, mini, sorry, mini Kickstarter, for example. Not necessarily on Kickstarter, but to have a way, if, like if you have 10 people buying the boards and you have boards, and then we see how much it costs. And if, if you already have this, then you say, okay, for this, I can make all of them already sold it. Because um, it was quite uh, quite a uh, lot of work and uh, Philip did very, very well. But it's not easy to, to find someone. It takes time to train the person to the soldering and it takes time to debug. And sometimes, you know, if an error comes up, it's almost impossible to find out what, what broke the board and then it just lost 100 euros. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. If, if you yes, find a yeah. way, just uh, populate it because it's, it's, a, it's an info that is needed uh, inside the community. Uh, I have a quick question from old man uh, Kiros Jimenez. Uh, have these OBC been flown to any mission? Uh, not uh, till now, as far as I know, or plan to? So, yeah, we are in touch with a company from Romania. Uh, they are considering to use this board for their mission, but it's open, open topic. But th there are plans, definitely. Awesome. Uh, so, thank you very much. Really thank interesting uh, presentation and a lot of interesting questions. Thank you. Um, see you around. Uh, 